Hello, this is Paula Jasmine. It's 8 uh, 9 o'clock. I'm about to go to sleep because I have to work later tonight. Anyway, I did a video blog, but I decided to retape it again because I feel like I didn't put my point across very well. So, the topic of this video blog is going to be about sexual orientation and sexual attractions and preferences. Now, why I'm doing this video blog is because I want to let leave and make clear certain and dispel certain myths that people may have about transgender people and about the people who may feel attracted to transgender people. Now, for starters, let me say that being transgender, it can be for some people very difficult to understand, very very difficult to. Um, to figure it out and also very difficult to to understand what I'm going to say um, there is a misconception in society that if you are transgender the people that are going to be attracted to you when it comes to men are going to be bi men and gay men that is not true that is that, that can be far away from the truth why because, for starters, gay men like gay men. They feel attracted to men, not women. Transgender women like me, when you take hormones, you modify your body, you, when people look at you, they see a woman, they don't know what's down there, unless, and to be honest, nobody will know what's down there in your plumbing, unless either they have x-ray vision, or they are Superman or Supergirl. Sadly, Superman Supergirl doesn't exist, so yeah, they will never know what's on there, you know. And me, I pass well to the well, but like, as fr recently I found out, I think I just look like a butch lesbian, you know, which is fine by me, you know. I'm a very butch woman, a transgender woman, I have to admit it, you know. And I have learned to accept that pie because I'm tough, you know. At the same time, when it comes to like my, me, me being in a personal relationship, I am kind of, uh, I am very mellow, honestly. <laughs> like, a um, few of my friends can attest to that, that I am very mellow and that I am very, you know, I have to admit it, I am kind of like, you know, I'm a softie, you know. Like, if, like, like if you go like this on my head, on my head I'm gonna just go like, oh, <laughs> oh bit, kind of like a doggy. Anyway, going back to the topic because I got sidetracked by telling about my personal life and what I do and what I, I feel like. Um, hopefully no, no many people that are watching this will use that against me. Um, anyway, yes. Going back to attractions, yeah. Um, yeah, I was saying about the myth and I was saying that the myth is not true. And I started to discuss about that gay men like gay men. And that makes a lot of sense. Gay men like gay men. Gay men are not going to be attracted to trans in a woman because I am a woman. We look like women. We are women. Gay men don't like women. Straight men, on the other hand, and this one it gets complicated because straight men they like women. I am a woman. Yes, I'm a transgender woman, but I am still a woman. And if some straight men happen to see me out in the street, they will not have X-ray vision. They're probably not Superman, and so they will probably not be able to know what's down there. And I don't have to tell them. And I may not tell them until, unless I see things get into a specific point where then I may be forced to tell. You know, I told my rule of thumb is like if I'm going to date somebody, I may probably tell them up front because I want them to know because for some men it's understandable because of society biases toward trans women some people in society make fun of those men that date trans women and also their own insecurities about dating a trans woman mainly for men when they are dating a trans woman their reason is like they don't want to be labeled as gay and they don't want to turn out gay they, you know, that's their biggest fear, turning out gay. For straight men, it's like, oh, uh, I, I'm not gay, you know, like, yeah. I, I, how do I know that? Because, well, I lived as a man before, and when I was living as a man, 
trying to harm myself, it was more or less, it was turning to that, like, oh, are, are you okay? I got so many times from my friends, like, the question, are you okay? And I'm like, no, 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 I'm, I'm not, I'm, it, it was still like, so it's like, um, I'm just glad that I was able finally to like, you know, figure things out and, and be myself because it was bothering me. It's really ridiculous, you know? At the same time, I know that when I was when I was living as a man, when life as a man, I interestingly enough, and probably because I was having the was coming out with my own gender identity, I told myself that if I made a transgender woman, I would still date them because they're women, you know. So, um, but anyway, going back, yeah, straight men are attracted to women, and thus straight men might feel attraction. To a transgender woman, and because they don't know that, and, and the risk comes for transgender women when you tell a man that you're transgender, a straight man, that you're transgender, two things can happen. Number one is they will decide not to continue pursuing a relationship. Number two, in very few cases, some of those men might feel comfortable enough and they might decide to pursue a relationship, or they might just be interested in the sexual experience and once they have had their little bit of fun with you they will just go and you will never see them again um same goes with by man you know um but yeah it's been very difficult for to find straight men or or by men that are willing to commit into a relationship with a transgender woman um I, I, and then again we transgender women coming all different th there's a lot of diversity on how we look and and um how we how we dress how we express you know like yes uh, with all you know it's almost like a, a same spectrum that you will find in in, in the cisgender woman you know that um and, and there are some of our transgender women that i know they are very pretty they are very gorgeous and they dress very feminine and certainly it's understandable that men will fall in love or feel interested in them, you know, that also sadly sometimes in some cases when those men find out that they are dating a trans woman, they they they, they, they react violently, and that's why we get our list for the transgender <laughs> day of remembrance. Most of those things from the from things that happen like that is when a transgender woman. Is dating a straight man, and the straight man find that they're dating a transgender woman. You know, they 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 react violently. Have happened a lot of times. And if you don't believe me, go on Wikipedia, search for Gwen Arroyo, and Gwen Arroyo was a transgender woman who was killed by men when they found out that she was mm, not exactly a female, basically. Um. This. So yeah, the lives for dating um, uh, is also one of the reasons I try to avoid dating straight men, you know, um, because I don't want to be, I, 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 number one, the fact that I'm dressed like this, you know, what do that straight man may think? Maybe they will think that I'm very butch, so I may not probably be interested in men, so I'm not going to get men approaching me. Besides the other things, because my gender, when I, even when I dress feminine, you can still see some of my old traits, and yes, I happen to have some muscles more than some of the guys out there, which also they may feel a little bit threatened because they don't expect the woman that they're dating to be able to lift 50 pound bags like nothing, you know. I can do that. Um, so, yeah. Um, well, as they have a fetish for muscle, which is creepy. I met a person one time on the street, and it was the creepiest thing I could get was a man telling me, like, can I see your muscles? Oh, baby, you're so pretty. My God, she was a whole creepy thing that I have ever seen. And I don't want to deal with that ever again, you know. Um, so my my preference as a transgender woman. Oh, also, the other thing that happens, like, having talked about men that are going to be attracted to trans women, when it comes to, like, women that are, are going to be attracted to trans, uh, to trans women, Honestly, we have lesbian women and we have bi women and we have straight women. So, straight women, they are attracted to men. I am not a man. 
even though the plumbing could be, you know, what a man may have, um, straight women like men. I am not a man. I don't look like a man. As such, straight women are not attracted to transgender women. That leaves lesbian and bisexual. Lesbian are attracted to women. So, because I'm a woman and I look like a woman, there are chances that a lesbian may feel attracted to me because I'm a woman. Ha and I happen to date, uh, to date for a very short time, I happen to date a lesbian woman. And uh, it was one of the best little relationships that I have ever had. It was amazing. You know, like that person was fantastic. And uh, even though we broke up, we broke up in good terms. And, uh, you know, like I had very good memories from that little bit of adventure you know and, and hope she's not watching this oh my gosh I, I, at least I didn't say names okay I didn't say names and I'm not going to say names but yeah um, she knows who she is bye anyway um, but yeah like lesbian women feel attracted to women so it's pretty obvious that it could happen that a lesbian woman might feel attracted to a trans woman and it has happened in some relationships and he has and I know a few f uh, friend that was dating a lesbian for a while um, and then you have bi women that also could feel attracted to a trans woman so yeah so bi women and lesbian women which so yeah and then we have trans people and trans people we have our sexual preference and who are attracted to will vary you know me, I say I'm bisexual, but reality I'm pansexual, so I don't care what are the what's basically I s search for a person that I like mostly in terms of like personality, uh, looks, and I don't care whatever problem they have. You know, for me they are a person. If they are, if there is a connection that I w looking for, I will give them a chance. You know, I I I'm, I'm like that. You know. Uh, but to make people understand, I tell them that I'm bi because people can understand that, you know, easier than understanding panse pansexuality, which is kind of funny. But yeah, so, in summary, people that are going to be attracted to transgender women are going to be straight men, bisexual men, lesbians, and bisexual women, and maybe trans women. Or trans men, yeah. Um, you know what? It's interesting. If I can have, if I can have the chance, I would like to. I, I think I will enjoy dating a, tra a, a trans, a uh, trans man because that would be interesting. You know, I think uh, when you date a trans, when you're a trans person, you date another trans person. It's kind of like become a relationship, mutual relationship of support too, and that's what we need sometimes. You know, like. Mm -hmm being supported by our partners and being with somebody that can understand what we're going through because they are also going through what more or less to what we're going through it's kind of nice you know and 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 you don't have to to go up to another place to find that kind of support that you may need um, so yeah I have dated some trans women and uh, I haven't I have not dated a trans man I will I think I will it would be interesting to date a transgender man. Um, in any case, I'm tired, and uh, I just wanted to demystify the mess of like the type of people that will feel attracted to to transgender women, and just put it out there so that way people can understand this a little bit better. Because um, even when I was in Puerto Rico, like when you, coming out as trans, like was the most difficult thing that I have ever done to my family and telling people that I was trans it led to a question of people like oh so you like men and it's like no I, it's not necessary that I like men is that I it's my gender identity how do I see myself and how do I express myself period you know and the fact that I don't like certain parts of my body and I want to get rid of them because they are oh they shouldn't be there basically but yeah, it's not about who I like when I w when you're trans and you're coming out. That's that that's, that might be another video blog, but like it's so difficult for people to understand, you know. And then when it comes to dating, it gets more difficult for people to un 
to understand and dating can also be very complicated and very difficult too because finding pe good people today that are not interested only in to having a sexual experience with you is very difficult especially when it comes to men um, very few men are willing to date a transgender woman and those that are willing to date a transgender woman that they, they have to be special because honestly it's very difficult to find good men out there uh, um, when you are a transgender woman um uh when it comes to and even women too you know even even finding good women today that's also very difficult too you know um they didn't like i haven't had very good ch um i haven't been um i haven't had more m m more luck dating trans people than you know cisgender people cisgender people you know like um, using the lingo to mean people that like if you are female and you are a woman you are a cisgender woman or a cisgender female and if you are born uh, with as a male and you are a man then you're a cisgender man or cisgender male um, so yeah dating a cisgender person um, that hasn't happened in a while honestly I've been mostly with trans women and uh, it's been very difficult to find a partner. For me, it has been very difficult. I don't know if it's also the culture that people are afraid of dating a person from a different culture. I'm from Puerto Rico, hence the accent. I speak Spanish. Um, yo hablo español, yo soy de Puerto Rico, nací y crecí en Puerto Rico. Por acá se me puede ser difícil encontrar partners porque pues, soy latina y no sé cuán fácil hay algunas personas por acá y no les les, les les haga o estén dispuesta a salir con una persona latina como yo. Um, um, so yeah, it's, it might be a little bit difficult for them to to want to date a transgender person too, and uh, and so dating has taken a sidetrack. Also, I've been trying to fix my finance, my financial life, which has gotten into a big mess because of job situation and also a lot of the student loan de student loan debt which is a hassle and if you haven't seen my video blog about solo debt scroll down see it because honestly it's, it's ridiculous how much solo debt that I have and um, recovering from like being in a working part time and and you know like the financial shock that I had in my previous years you know like it really w w broke havoc in my finances and that there's no other way I can put it because it really it's really a sucky situation. With if you don't have money, you are fucked, basically. Um, so also that I feel like that financial situation that I was experiencing didn't help me into probably offering anything to to my partner other than hey, I know how to juggle. Hey, I know how to cook. Hey, I don't have money or anything to offer you besides my presence. Um, which would be awesome, you know, like, I think, like, if you love somebody, you don't care about the other stuff. You just care about the fact that they're there with you and they share the experience of life, you know, live your life close to them. That's it, you know, like, that's the way that I see a relationship. I don't see a relationship. I'm not, I'm not getting into a relationship because the person has money. I'm not getting into a relationship because the person is, um, it's has a lot of material stuff you know I'm, I'm getting with a person that has personality complexity and is a person that is willing to be there for me and willing to stick with me by my side no matter what will happen in life you know um, and I guess that's why I haven't been able to find a partner today you know and um, and then also to the fact that now I work on a third shift, I sleep during the day, and I work at night. The normal thing is like work. The normal thing is to work during the day and sleep at night, and that is not what's happening in my life right now. So another thing that makes dating more difficult. Anyway. It's getting late for me. I better get to sleep or I'm not going to be able to wake up early today. So, good day, night, day, 
I don't know why you are watching this and I really don't care. You can be the other side of the world, so it could be day, or you can be right in the United States, it could be dark, or you can be in California, it could be like mid afternoon. I really don't know. But if you're watching my video vlogs, I hope you enjoy them. Subscribe, comment, feedback. Please, I can use a lot of feedback. I want to improve my channel. I want to get some topics to chat. I want to get um, ideas for videos, ideas for video blogs, and anyway, that's it for now. I will cut the video here. Peace out. I am going to sleep now. Bye.